Good evening, I'm Holden Absher. A state Senate committee is making major changes to a controversial elections bill. The panel eliminated language that would have added new restrictions to absentee mail-in voting. Right now, you can get a mail-in ballot. If you attest, you won't be available on election day. A House-approved bill would have expanded that to require a voter be unavailable in the 28 days before the election, too. Republican Senator Greg Walker proposed an amendment to remove the restriction, saying it would create doubt and confusion among voters. An Indianapolis electronics recycler who trains formerly incarcerated people is one of 19 places around the country to receive a federal grant. We are saving the earth. What we do every day, we save the earth for the kids, children, teachers, whatever. We earth saving. Officials say the $200,000 grant will help train an additional 40 people to safely handle hazardous materials and e-waste like computers and TVs. Though the nonprofit is the only in Indiana to receive the EPA grant this year, the agency will give out $30 million over five years. After 50 years in business, Bloomington's Bears Place is closing its doors. The restaurant said in a social media statement Friday that the current business climate has made it too difficult and the best course of action is taking a break. Bears Place opened in 1972 and has hosted musicians like David Baker and comedians such as Ellen DeGeneres. The closing is effective immediately. Now for a look at the weather. Tonight, mostly clear, a low of 22 degrees. Looking ahead at the five-day, mostly sunny, a high of 49 tomorrow. Wednesday, partly sunny, a high of 57. Rain on Thursday. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a good night.